Hello and welcome to a very short but sweet Noshing with Nashies. Today we're going to make roasted garlic bread. And for that, I will need a couple of heads of garlic. I have some really nice French bread, uh, rustic French bread from Costco here. Got some Munster cheese, some basil, some butter, some oregano, a little bit of salt, and some olive oil. We have started by preheating our oven to 400 degrees, and I am going to cut these heads of garlic in half. All right, as you can see here, I've cut my heads of garlic in half. Some of the little ones came apart, that's no big deal. You can actually do individual cloves, take them out, put them in the tin foil like this. I have non-stick uh, aluminum foil here so that the garlic doesn't stick. It does get sticky when it roasts, so you want to be careful with that. But uh, you can do it individually and roast it for 20 minutes. We're going to go for about 40 to 50 minutes, checking it at 30 minutes to see how it's done. So first thing we're going to do is throw on some olive oil. You can use any oil that you like. We're just going to drizzle it with some olive oil. Get it nice and coated. All right. Then we're going to hit it with some salt. I have some Himalayan pink salt here. Not too much, but just like so. And then we're just going to wrap it up loosely and stick it into a 400 degree oven. Again, like I said, we're going to check it at about 25 minutes is usually when I check it first. So anywhere from 20 minutes to about 40 minutes is how long it's gonna take this. You'll know it's done when it's nice and golden brown. I'll let you know exactly how long it takes me. In the meantime, I'm softening up that butter because we're gonna mix that in together with some herbs like oregano and basil. And then we're gonna make some really yummy bread. I'll see you in about 50 minutes or so. All oh, right, that took me about 40 minutes. Here you can see our beautifully caramelized garlic. I'm going to let this cool down a bit, and then I'm going to squeeze it into some butter and some herbs. All right, as you can see here, I have smushed all our garlic into this butter. I've added about a tablespoon of oregano and a tablespoon of basil. This is salted butter, so you don't need to add any salt to it. And I'm just gonna smash everything together. You can see those beautiful cloves of garlic getting in there. And if a couple of them get a little bit burnt, it's fine. You can just take off the part that got a little overcooked and toss that away, but the rest of it is good. You just wanna get everything nice and mixed together. Garlic has such a mellow flavor when you roast it like this. And if you find yourself uh, annoyed at having garlic smell or onion smell on your hands after handling it, just grab something stainless steel uh, underneath your water and rub like this with your hands and it will actually get rid of it. They sell bars of quote unquote soap uh, <laughs> that are stainless steel bars shaped like soap to get the smell off your hands. It neutralizes the uh, sulfur. So and you can see like that we have some beautiful garlic butter. All right. Now I'm going to get my hands messy here. That's why I'm wearing gloves. It's because why bother with a knife if you can just do this with your hands? I've got my cheese set to the side. I have my bread all sliced up here. You can see I've sliced it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of the butter on my hands and I'm going to shove it in between each of these individual slices like so. And then we are going to put cheese in there as well. Nothing fancy, we just want it to taste good. Just get it in there. Fondle your bread. And then we're going to bake it uh, at about 350 degrees for ooh, 10 minutes or so to get the cheese in between to melt. I like to wrap my bread in aluminum foil so that it heats all the way through. You can see it's not cut all the way down to the bottom. I've left that so it can be pull apart. Ah! Butter ahoy. And getting it on the top like this, wonderful. Tastes good. 
want it to be like restaurant bread. This is a treat. Now you see why I wear gloves, though. It's everywhere. And that was about a stick of butter that I used there. Just like so. Don't neglect your ends. Try to squish everybody together. I think we've got all our butter. Make sure everybody got nice and buttered. Yes, yes. I like being hands-on when I'm cooking. I'm doing this with a cowboy steak that my father, Papa Nashies, has grilled. And then we are going to take our cheese, and I have some provolone and some Munster here, and just each little cut here, we're going to go like so, and fold our cheese in. Probably should have separated my cheese. Would have been the smart way to go about it. And there we have it, our buttered up loaf of bread stuffed with cheese. Again, I am going to wrap this in aluminum foil, non-stick, so it doesn't stick to it. And I'm going to stick it in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until all that cheese is melty, and I will see you then. And here we have our beautiful bread fresh out of the oven. Oh, that cheese is nice and gooey, and that garlic smells amazing. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick episode of Noshing with Nashies. If you've enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!